Good morning, everybody. Uh, just wanted to come on today and um, talk a little bit about variety packs. So um, I have been seeing in a couple of the other vending groups, and I know that people are members in this group and the other vending groups. Um, so I just decided to do a post here. Um, but basically, um, people are buying variety packs and hey money Q and they are running into the problem that their product is expiring before they can use everything in the variety pack and then they're having to buy more so I wanted to kind of share my experience with um, using variety packs and why you should stay away from variety packs as a beginner until you have a certain amount of machines um, because it'll make your life so much easier um, so when I when I started, I had a machine in location, and I was buying the Miss Vicky's uh, variety pack. So it had like regular chips, barbecue chips, um, jalapeno, and then salt and salt and vinegar chips. What was happening for me was that the um, the demographic at the location liked to eat the bar the uh, salt and vinegar chips and the jalapeno chips, and so then I would have hey Trina K. I would have a bunch of the, all the other barbecue or the plain chips um, left over. And then I would have to buy another box of the Miss Vicky's to refill. This, we're doing this connection issue again. I think it's Facebook Live because now I'm on Wi-Fi. But anyway, so I would have to buy another um, another box of the Miss Vicky's. To, to refill the salt and vinegar and the jalapeno chips. So I just wanted to show you guys um, an example of a variety pack that you would see in Sam's because we're mostly buying our products from Sam's. Yes, I know some people are getting them from other distributors, but this is going to be because when you're a rookie, you're starting from Sam's and you should be anyway. Um, so here is a, a box top of one of the variety packs that we buy all the time. So there are um, five different things in this in this box which looks like a pretty good um, mix because you have chips you have Doritos Fritos cheese puffs and then you have Funyuns so you should you would probably see this in a store like oh, okay this is this is legit um, because I have now five options that I can put in my vending machine so then you go and put those five options in your vending machine but what happens is um, people buy the ruffles and it's eight of those in there. It's actually the most in the in the box. So people are going to buy the ruffles. But what's going to happen is not too many people are going to buy these um, these Fritos twists. And this is actually what happens. And luckily, like I said, we have a, a ton of machines, so it's, it's okay. We don't uh, throw out product. But you're going to have to um, buy, um, or or even say they buy the the Funyuns and and um, and the ruffles. So they don't sell, Sam's does not sell the bags of Ruffles or Funyuns in the larger, in the one point, like, five, whatever ounce. They only sell one ounce. So to get this size bag, you have to buy the whole variety pack again. And what's going to happen is you're going to have all these other chips left over, like the Fritos and the Funyuns, because people just aren't buying those as frequently. So then your your expiration date is going to come up, and you're going to be dumping out more chips in the trash than you actually sold, and you're going to lose money. So um, you should not do that. Another thing that might happen, even if you do have more than one vending machine and you're using variety packs, and this also happened to me, was with that Miss Vicky. So I had two locations. Remember, I had the... Uh, the, the the first location that was a retirement home and then I had the corporate warehouse that had two machines. So I actually had three machines in locations and this still happened. Um, what uh, what would happen is because the demographic was very, very similar, they liked the same snacks, they were eating the same flavors out of the variety pack. So they were eating the same Ruffles and, and, and um, Funyuns, just say. So then I will still have Cheetos left, Doritos left, and Fritos left. And I have to go and buy a whole nother box just to fill those two slots. Um, when you put this, you're going to put all five of these chips in your vending machine and all five are not going to sell. That's just the way it works. That's just not going to happen. So um, the key is you need to have at least three machines. If you have combo or a full line, 
you want to have at least three machines so that you can spread the product out. You don't want it to go bad um, because you're tr that's why you're buying the variety pack is so you don't have to buy a 50 count of each box, right? You want to buy one box instead of five boxes. So make sure if you're buying the variety pack, you have more than three machines and the demographic at those machines are are different because you don't want to get in the, in the situation like I had where people were buying the same snacks at all the locations and so then I'm left with a ton of other chips. Um, also, um, the expiration date. This is just a tip in general. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But the expiration date on here is September 24th. When you're buying variety packs, um, all the chips, all the options are going to have a different expiration date. They list the prop, the date that expires the soonest. So, um, you might still have another month on those items. This is just a little tidbit that you wouldn't know otherwise if you weren't buying variety packs. But, so this has a September 24th date, but most of these chips probably don't expire till sometime in October. Um, so you do have time to sell them, um, but also knowing that you're going to have at least a month, if you can go to, when, you, when you're when you at Sam's, look for a date that's further out than September 24th if you can, and, um, and then you'll have a better chance of selling out of your product. So if you are buying variety packs as a beginner trying to save money, I get it, um, but it is a way that you're going to actually end up spending more money than saving money. You might want to find a wholesaler in your area that um, sells loose bags of chips. So if you are in Atlanta, I know that um, Samson Wholesale, you can go in there, it's on University Avenue, and you can buy single bags of chips. Now, uh, yes, it's more expensive than buying um, a whole box the, per, per each anyway. It's more expensive. But you can't go in Samson, open up the box, and take three out and buy those. So at Samson, you can. Um, you can buy ten or one, however many you want. And that can um, help you when you're, when you're starting out, when you want to get a variety of chips and you may not have a lot of money. So that's a good option Um and I've done that to test out whether um, a certain snack would, would be good for a location or not. Um, so I didn't want to buy the whole case. So I could buy um, just uh, just like uh, 14 because our combo machines hold seven. So I would buy enough to refill twice or to refill once. Um, so that's an option. So just look in your area for um, wholesalers that are not obviously not Sam's and Costco and BJ's. But... Uh, little smaller mom and pops that will offer that single bag um, option. So variety packs can be a good thing. And this is actually a really good variety pack. Um, this is one that we, I mean, we buy so many of these because we have a ton of machines and people, you know, different, different demographics like the snacks. Um, but when you're starting out, remember, don't buy variety packs if you have less than three vending machines and if the demographic in those machines are pretty much the same um, because you're going to end up throwing away the chips. And the other little tip, the little extra tip is that your date on the box is not for everything in the box. It's just for whatever expires the soonest. So if you can dig through when you're in Sam's, you can dig through and find a later date, then the better off you'll be if you feel you really have to buy variety packs. Um, please let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, let me see if there's any comments. I don't think so. I don't think so. But if you have any questions later, if you come on later and you watch um, and you have questions, please um, put them in below. I will answer you. Um, and let me know what other videos you guys want me to do. The locating course is, I'm going to put a link up today or tomorrow. Um, it will be on Wednesday the 14th, uh, I think 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And it will be recorded, so if you cannot attend... Um, if you cannot attend at that time, it'll be recorded. I will put all the links up so that you can get registered for the course and um, answer any questions that you may have. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, please let me know if you have any more questions and any suggestions for videos that you guys want me to do uh, live. All right, see you guys later. Happy Friday.